Hello everyone, welcome back to the third video using this reference picture for the tutorial. Um, before these um, three videos, like before this one and the other two I've made, I have some um, other two videos which I've made about um, beginner's guide so you can check them out if you want to see how we got here. So this video is going to be mainly on the shirt shading, the clothes on her, that's what I'm going to focus on this video so um let's go to the artwork so um on the shading if there are two methods which are used to shade the the cloth so um i either lock transparency or i select um what i want to shade in this video that's um the shade Cloth that I want to shade, then after I select, then I create a new layer, then I start shading. So, if you want to lock your transparency, you come to this part lock that is on the layer here. So, that's the part lock there. So, if you come to it, you click on it, it's going to show transparency locked. So, what that means is that whatever you do won't go out of the color. You already painted in that layer let's say for example I want to put red so now if I do like this it won't go out of the color I've painted already but if I remove the transparency now as you can see transparency unlocked if I do the same thing it will go out so that's what it means and the second method which will be the one I will use on this video is I'll come to these tools here then go to selection now this is my selection I go to selection click on it then I come to magic selection we have magic selection here if I go there it's already on magic selection come to select selection and tap on what I want to select so that's how it works then i create a new layer on top of the base color so the brushes i use for the shading we have i use the i use this and the two airbrushes i have the hard uh, the soft airbrush and the hard airbrush and i use this also this is also like an airbrush but it's having one edge as um hard edge is having a very hard edge at one side and the other side is soft like um look at this this is how the brush is so let's and um i will do both the shadows and the, the lights on a single layer but you can create Two layers let me see one for the shadows and the other one on top you use it for the lights so because of the limited number of layers i have to work with using um this version of autotext sketchbook i have to minimize the number of layers i create so i pick your color drag it down if you want to see all these things check my um beginner's guide video and you get this thing reduce the brightness of the color you can saturate it a bit if you want then you start your shading now take note of the brushes i'm using and how i'll be switching them So sometimes I just like to shade the shirt looking like the clothes looking like vector. I switched to soft airbrush now.
I switched to hard airbrush. So you just be you just focus on on um, your reference picture and try to duplicate exactly what this on your reference picture. As you can see, I switched the brush again. I might not go into um, too much detail in you know, this video because of time and I will not want to make the video to be very long so I might not um, detail everything the way it is I would just like just for you to get the idea behind the shading and again when you create a new layer for the shading like what I did here like a new layer on top like not blocking your transparency is um it's easier to correct something like a mystic using this method than when you lock transparency using this method if I shade something and I don't like the way it is all I would do is, is I either pick a an eraser and clean it or I undo what I did there but when I lock transparency I can't use an eraser just to undo um, to clean the mistake I, I I can only undo or pick the base color and shade the base color there which is going to take away the, the mistake So this is just the idea behind the shading. So you just go into the shading bit by bit. You don't have to just start putting in hard colors there. So as you can see, this is this this place is supposed to be too dark, but I I just put in like a base color there of the shading. So later on I will darken the place so you don't use the same um, color um, is it brightness or what I'll say to shade everywhere like some places have to be darker than others and some places have to be brighter than others So during the sketch, there was a finger that popped out around this place, but I just ignored it because um, it didn't show that much, so I skipped that place. Soft airbrush. So our shading is coming out well. So I can just start putting in those places that are a bit too dark. So I'll just darken the color, reduce the brightness of the color down and start putting in those places. So it depends on how you want it. If you want it to be too dark, and sometimes when when I'm working on an artwork, I hardly just start everything from the beginning to the end on a single seed. I like just make like the sketch. I go back. Sometimes if I start the shading too, I can just 
make a little bit of the shading and just go out of the application and later on I come back and continue continue the, the, the shading because I want to be like having a fresh eye to look at the the artwork with because once I look at it too much I sometimes I might just see something like this and I'll be like it's okay but when I like step away from the artwork and I come back and look at it the next time I'll be like I need to add something here so and like as from the reference picture there is a light around this place this place there is light but I'm not considering that I'm just like taking the basic shading um, method so I'm not considering those lights like I'm not following the direction of the light so let me darken this place Here too. Okay, I'm still using hard. I'm using hard brush now. So as I've said, I'm not going too much into detailing. It's just um, for you guys to get the idea behind the shading. So I will just start doing the lights now. I don't know why. I just prefer using um, starting the shadows first, then after the shadows, then I go into the lights. So what I just did is I picked the color, the shirt color, and I increased the brightness a bit to have the, the lights. So I'll just switch to this hard edge my brush and increase the brightness. I said I sometimes I like the shirt to be like a bit of like tall style like so um this is how you just put in your colors so so you just continue looking at your reference picture and go back to your artwork add what you see just like memorizing you look at it you memorize how it looks come back you put it in bit by bit just take it down step by step you don't have to go hard into the shading all at once Increase the, the brightness of the color. So 
that's how I'll just keep on moving increasing the brightness adding the shadows so like if I want to put a very hard light to shadows I use this if it's too hard you can reduce the opacity of the brush So this is um one important of uh, one important use of this hard edge brush. You can just cut exactly what you want and shade that piece. So um that's the idea behind the shading generally entirely even if you are shading the skin is the same idea pick the base color pick the base color then you shade you go in bit by bit so when you're done keep on moving back and forth and in no time you'll be done So let me deselect this and see. So this is how our shirt is looking. Let me close it. Um, this is after I closed the sketch layer. So this is how our shading is looking now. So let me just do this shading here. Okay, now after you're done, if you like, you can click on that same layer. You can merge it with the base color if you want. So um, me probably, if I start the skin shading or when I'm working on the hair and the layers are not enough for me, I can just come and match this layer to the base color layer. So let me, let me just shade this jewelry here before I'll be done with this tutorial. So. When it comes to something like this, you sometimes it's it's, it's not just um, increasing and reducing the brightness of the color. So for this one, if I want to get shadows, I just move this hue a bit to this reddish place and I drag it down the brightness and reduce it to. So I use this brush to just trace in these lines. It's not. I'll not, I'll not do like for this one I locked the transparency so I won't do any serious shading for this one so now I can just pick the color for the light and increase the brightness so I'll say I'm done with that one so same thing with with um the airing just put in the lights so I'm just using it doing this one like vector so this lights here now the same thing I did on that one to reduce the bright I know we pick the color 
take the hue a bit down drag this place here i can desaturate it if i want to so i just put in the shadows so after this video i'm going to make the next video which is going to be the skin shading mainly but i'm going to shade the eyes there then on the lips too the lips i'm even yet to put in the base color for the lips so on the next video i'm going to do that then after that i think the last video should be the hair then once i'm done with the hair probably if there are some final touches i would like to do is all going to be on the hair video so um just stay tuned to this channel and subscribe if you want to continue seeing videos like this and if you want to stay with me to the end of this sketch so that is something um we call line act coloring so like how to switch the colors of this black tracing or black lines that are made to a color that is going to be suitable with that is going to blend in with the act so this shirt this white here same thing i'll just lock the transparency so i'll just pick the color drag it down a bit desaturate it pick the hard edge brush and just shade the edges close to the black lines here then probably i'll just brighten the middle then i'll say i'm done pick this hard brush spin in the middle so that's how you just do the shading just as a beginner it might seem hard to you but just take your time and do it gradually you'll get it so i'll be i'm done with this video like this just for you to get the idea and see you on the next video that has to do with the skin shading so just stay tuned if you want to see some of my acts you can just follow me on on instagram at ben acts the acts is a r t z it ends with z so ben acts b e n a r t z so i'm out